So, round tilt number nine, four to go. The beautiful South, picked by Steve Rhodes. What did I rush back? Number one, described by the Grounding Guardian, which is Grounding had here, as one of our finest songwriters, <laughs> McDonald. <laughs> Paul Heaton, you've got one over on your man there. <laughs> <laughs> he put Rhodes on. He gave him Rhodes. He gave him Rhodes yeah, instead two, of two uh, Rhodes. Dead. How far behind was it? Okay. You were. How far behind was it? Does anybody know? No. It doesn't work. Right, we're in business. Oh, oh no! Okay. Press on the wrong part of the screen. This round is doomed. Prior to the beautiful sun, <laughs> Rose was <laughs> <house master. laughs> Who was that? The House Martins. And two more for Wright. Four. Four for Steve, yeah. And shit. Good. What was the beautiful South? Uh, it's Christmas! Please. A little time. Yes. Yes! I'm waiting for that. Just number one. I got the press when you meant first number one. Yes, I was waiting. Our first album. Our first album. Come on, come on, come on. Name any one. <laughs> it's Christmas! Rhodes. Brianna Corrigan. Finish the question while Jackie I put your back to it. Jackie Abbott. 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 The question came to be. Yeah, Any one of the three female vocalists who had chat success at the Beach Club South? No, no, Alison Wayne was the one. Alison Wayne was the one. Alison Two answers required. Having both been hit singles for the Beautiful South, Norwich is just about the halfway point. <laughs> Rhodes. Rotterdam. It's Christmas! It's Christmas! Lees. Liverpool and Rome. Laycock. Liverpool and Rotterdam. <laughs> McDonald. I was going to say Liverpool and Rome. Ashton. Manchester and Rotterdam. Manchester and Rotterdam is the correct answer. Manchester, got to do it. Was a hit single. Having both been hit single titles for the beautiful south, Norwich is just about the halfway point between which two cities, 480 kilometres apart. <laughs> Uh, right, so I've got to do some deductions there. Minus two. Rhodes, minus two. Thank you for pointing that out to me. Uh, Lees. One off for me as well. Yeah, Laycock, I'm doing these in order. McDonald. Ashton, thanks for bailing us out on that one. Pleasure. Nice, isn't it? What inverted two word cliche? <laughs> Lees. Perfect turn. No, minus one, sorry. <laughs> yes. Hello, Preston. Yeah, perfect ten. No. That's what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Which inverted two word cliche was cited by the beautiful South as the reason <laughs> McDonald's? Musical similarities. Musical similarities. Oh, McDonald, you are yeah, so well good at this. Bollocking Have you got my. I oh, know you and there's you made a drawing on this one, aren't you? Doing quite well at zero. <laughs> Which subsequent Academy Award-winning actress was not mentioned in the album special <laughs> Rhodes? Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock is correct. Tell them what the question is. Oh, the date of it, please. Oh, um, it's from Don't Marry Her when they say grab your sweaty bollocks on the thing and then they. On the album version, that was perfect. Thank you for that. Again, it just helps me out, it gives me time to do that. Which Beautiful South album yielded the singles The Table? Quench. Correct. Dumb, How Long Did Tear Take to Dry? And Perfect Ten. So that's another. Two points for you, Stephen. Four, four points. points. Four points. Love it. Two to go. Nice little hole for you, Steve. Name the 2008 jukebox musical. <laughs> Ashton. Slide. 
Yeah. Sorry. It's live. What's the uh, The Jukebox Musical, uh, featuring the music of the beautiful South. Yeah. Last one. Though never an official member. Nice before Christmas. Michael. Butcher. Yes, David Plenty. Butcher. Yeah, God, that must be good to you because there were some pretty, right. pretty sharp answers during that lot. I don't know how you do it. But Batland, two points for you. And on with the... <coughs> Occurring naturally in a number of plants of the nightshade that is gross. It's Christmas! No, uh, Laycock. Belladonna. Sam. Oh. We've not finished this question yet, guys. So Rhodes, let me let me deduct yeah. a few points here. Rhodes, minus one. Uh, Laycock, minus one. Sam, minus one. McDonald, have you got an answer? Palace? No, I'm sorry. I can see where you're coming from with that. McPartland. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Child. Strickland. No. That's all that side practically out. Uh, including Deadly Nightshade, Jimson Weed and Mandrake, first isolated in 1833 on the WHO model list of essential medicines, which drug is used to dilate the pupils of the eyes? Wow, that was an expensive question. Oh, Clive! Atropine is the correct answer. <laughs> no use there, I could keep your eyelids up. <laughs> Clive, two points. Which country, other than America, was birthplace to two of the top five in the 1999 American Film Institute list of the greatest female stars? Leeds. Hungary. No, Laycock. These are minus ones. Lee's oh, minus one. Laycock minus one. Ashton. Belgium. Nope. Two of the top five American Film Institute list of greatest female stars of classic Hollywood cinema. It's Christmas. Rhodes. Russia. Chris. France. Preston. Sweden. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just ahead of the game. Ingrid Bergman and. I was going to say that. Bergman and his little bit old. Gabo. Gabo wasn't born in Sweden, was he? I think so. Ingrid Bergman was. Yeah, I think Jeff Gabo was born in Sweden. Sweden. No, I wouldn't put it. You let her know. Okay, next one is this. Where would one find. A gorget, a pauldron, <laughs> climb. Oh, nice. well, the suit of armour is so right. Which Cornish village, two miles west of Camelford, is home to the oldest work working slate quarry in England and was once the deepest man made pit in the world? Laycock, don't go for this if you don't know. It's not, it's not one you'll guess. Tintagel? No, it's Della Bowl. Yeah. Della Bowl. It, uh, I want to get that one out of the way if you don't mind. Yeah. Vince, you said don't yes. go for it after a press. A load of <laughs> answers. People saying pens, ants and sent eyes and all sorts of stuff. Right, next one. Named after a kraut who injured himself skiing in the Bavarian Alps in 1945, who sponsored the Southern Football League between 1990 and Christmas. McPartland. Ryman. No. Who sponsored the Southern Football League between 1996 and 2004 and West Ham's shirts between 1990 It's Christmas! Ashton. Martins. Dr. Martin, oh, yes. Yeah. Well, 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 now you know. Yeah, Learn something new every day. Ashton, he seems to be grinding away here. 43, 38. You keeping quiet now, Chris, or what? Which band have had hit albums with Picture Book, 
men and women, <coughs> rows. Two points. Oh, uh, can you name another one? Because I can't be bother reading it out. Star, 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 star. <laughs> that was going to be the one, yeah, definitely. In which country were postage stamps first issued on the 1st of May, 1840? <laughs> Vince. It's Christmas time. Yeah, Give Vince the big up there. Woo Go on, son. Come on, <laughs> Frank and Nancy Sinatra and Robbie Williams and Lee. It's Christmas. Um, <coughs> it's Christmas. Only just, yeah, a lot of pressure on people breathing down your neck there, Mike, but I think you just had enough time. You're comfortable compared with some answers. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Selena, Vulcano, Stromboli and Lipari are all members of which Italian island group that give their name? It's Christmas birthday! Ashton! Mediterranean? Minus one. I shouldn't have said anything about you going on a, a plunge, should I? Uh, Sam? Sicily. Uh, members of which Italian island group that give their name to wind-blown chimes? Clive. The Aeolian Islands. Oh, yeah. Six on this round. Which film was... It's just the intent. Which film was Oliver Reed making with Lee... Gladiator. Gladiator. It had to come up Gladiator eventually, didn't it? And look at the buzzers there. In which year was Patrice Lumumba, first Prime Minister of the Republic of the Congo, assassinated, Carl Lewis was born, and Yuri Gagarin became... <laughs> McPartland. 63. Not finished the question. Uh, Lees. 64. Oh. Laycock. 57. Martin. 61. Correct. You bastard. <laughs> 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 oh, that's, that's that's that next one, in case you didn't hear it, no, uh, Mark Preston called you a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, wind up, I think I'll wind up to take that. At 61. Uh, well done as well for not falling into the trap of getting dragged to the other answers there. Good conviction. Nobody went 62 or 60 and he pulled no, it. No, I knew you were going to go, Mr. First Man in Space and 61. Oh, What's the rest of the question going to be? Which became the first man in space, but I didn't say in space. What is, what is measured in Pascal's and Chris? Pressure. Pushing down on me. You first won this round, that. Mm. Just talk about pressure. It's about right. What name is shared by Tony Soprano's daughter in The Sopranos and a field habitat vegetated by primarily grass and other... <laughs> Child. Meadow. Meadow is correct. Oh, yeah. Meadow oh, Soprano. You were precisely a uh, fourth of a second behind. Not much. <sighs> Two to go. Born 2nd of July 1877 in a place called Calv, C A L W, in Württemberg, W U, Württemberg, awarded the 1946. Nobel Prize for Literature, who wrote Steppenwolf? Nice <laughs> little Go, Sam. Grass. No. Uh, minus one, not plus two, sorry. Uh, for some reason, right, who was second there? Clive. Hess. Hess. Yeah, uh, for some reason, I'd put you the automatic two points on there. Did I take them off as well? I just took those off, haven't I? Um, Clive. Sam, you screwed me there, royally. Uh, uh, one more question to go on this particular set. Name the genus of atmospheric cloud generally characterised by thin, wispy... Compartment. <laughs> Stratus. Minus one. You've got so many consecutive wrong ones. That's four in a row. Laycock. Cumulostratus. Minus one. Minus one, 
Sam. Cirrus. Cirrus is the correct answer. Yeah. Hard to bear. Right. Get back as soon as you can. I've just got a bit of swapping around to do. We'll be five, ten minutes. We've got three rounds to go and we're getting down to the nitty gritty.